I've been using Morgan for years, but there are a couple of auto scheduling features inside of workflows that allow me to organize and plan my day far easier. Now looking at Morgan, you see I've got a client call later, but what I actually want to do is do some prep work before the call. So I want a little buffer time beforehand and Morgan can do this with a one time setup workflow. So if I click on the workflow buttons in the left ribbon, it takes me to the Morgan platform where I'm at the homepage. If I click on workflows, then workflow gallery, I can then select any of these workflows available. For this use case, I want to have a look at buffer time. So I'm going to create a workflow, a buffer time workflow, and I can now rename this. So instead of calling it buffer time, I'm going to call it meeting prep because now I know what it's actually doing. It's adding in a time for my meeting preparation. I then need to select target calendar. You can see in here, it's got my Google calendar, but every calendar that Morgan uses, so that's Outlook, CalDAV, etc., will be accepted inside of these workflows. So you can add buffer time to your calendar. I'm going to select my events calendar from a different Google account. You can select multiple calendars if you want, but I don't really want buffer time on my personal or actions because I just want my events to have buffer time. But for example, if you have a work and personal account, you could have your events personal and events work calendars both selected. So the buffer time will be added to meetings in both personal and work calendars. When do I want the buffer time? Well, this is preparation. So I want it before the event. And for a bit of customization, it says for short meetings. So for meetings 30 minutes or less, how much buffer time do I want added? This gives me the option of five, 10 or 15 minutes. So if there's a short meeting, I don't need that much prep time. I personally still want to have 15 minutes it's prep time because maybe I want to go to the loo or grab some food before I have the meeting or go over the agenda or previous meeting notes. For longer meetings, so longer than 30 minutes, you can actually go longer all the way up to a 30 minute prep time. So if I use the global hotkey alt C on my keyboard, you can see this client call is an hour long from 3.30 till 4.30 that will be classed as a long meeting. So let's save that workflow. Now when I click on your workflows or my workflows in the sidebar, you can see there's the meeting prep. That's the type, it's a buffer time, it's active. And if I want to edit the settings, I can go over to the edit button, edit workflow settings, and here are the settings for me to change. As this is the first time I've set up the workflow, there's no new meetings for the buffer time to work from. So I'm going to manually run it, which you can do whenever you want. And you can see now at the top, meeting prep executed successfully. However, when we go back to Morgan, you can see there's no buffer time added, and that's because there's no attendee for this call yet. If I have a look at the event details at the moment, Morgan just sees this as an event, not a meeting, because the attendees area is empty. If I add an attendee to the meeting, then save the meeting, you can see now there is a buffer via Morgan that's been added in the calendar, and that was auto-scheduled by the workflow. If we go back to the workflow gallery and have a look at the automated travel time, Time. click create. I'm going to rename that driving time because I drive most places. So let's put the target calendars and say events and personal. So when we're going to the gym, it picks up the personal and events, any meetings, it also picks that up. If we add a location to a meeting, maybe it's a physical meeting. I'm going to add my departure location, which is my home address. Obviously, I'm going to blur that out. Then I have travel type. So it can be one way or round trip. Most of the time I'm coming back from where I'm going. So I want a round trip travel modes. As I mentioned, I drive most places, but you can add walking, cycle, or public transport. And then there's an additional option to add buffer time to the travel time. Maybe that's five minutes to get ready for the drive, or maybe you're in town and it's gonna take 10 minutes because of the traffic. You can adjust for any of those circumstances. So I'm gonna add five minutes just to get myself ready before I do the drive. So setting up the sat nav if it's a long journey, for example. So save. Again, I can click to your workflows or go over to my workflows. Both take me to the same place. We have drive driving time as a workflow. Again, now if I run manually the driving time workflow, it'll take a couple of seconds and then we go driving time executed successfully. But when we look in the calendar, the gym doesn't have any travel time or buffer time for the travel time. And that's because when we look into the event, there's no location. So it can't calculate the travel time because it needs a location to work out how long it's going to be. So now I've added a location for the gym that I'm going to go to. I click save and you can see now it's added in travel time for my journey to the gym. The reason they are different colors is you can see the gym has a tag sport, which is changing the color, but is in my personal calendar. Personal calendar is red and that's where the travel time's gone. The travel time has gone into the personal calendar. Something worth noting is if you then move the client call, so let's say the client call, actually we're gonna delay that by half an hour, gonna send the notification to the attendee, 
and you can see the buffer time has automatically scheduled the new buffer time because we've changed the client call time. If we say, actually, we're going to go to the gym far later because the client call over ran after a couple of seconds, the travel time will also automatically schedule the new travel time for where the event's been moved to. Now, if we were to take a look at the buffer time, you can see this event was automatically created by Morgan. So it tells you that it was created and gives you a link to go back to the settings. And in travel time, exactly the same. This was automatically created. And the slack time is actually incorporated in this time slot. So I've got the distance, how long it's going to take me, but also the slack time of five minutes. Remember down here in the additional buffer time, we added a slack time of five minutes. But there are just a couple of things that Morgan does to make planning easier. But this is something else that Morgan does that you might not know about. 